All right, we're going to do this. All right, <clears throat> uh, today is Saturday, and uh, these first few books are from today. So we're going to jump right into it. Now, this is a book that wants to be something. This is a book that wants to be somebody. Uh, DC Nation number zero. Uh, the This is a one in 500 variant. I know... Uh, the store that I got this from, uh, there were like literally, t like the regular editions of this, there were just like stacks and stacks. It was like a couple of, actually no, just a couple of stacks of uh, the regular version of uh, DC Nation number zero. And I noticed this book on eBay, it's uh, over, over the course of uh, the week. Uh, this past week, this book has been selling, you know, pretty consistently. It's not, it's not there to where it's like some sort of, you know, like $50, $60 book or anything, but it's selling consistently at 20 It's selling consistently at uh, 30 you know, so for like near mint copies. And I just figured, I, and I was tempted to pick one up off of eBay, you know, like maybe $20, $25 plus shipping. But I remembered seeing this at uh, one of my local stores, so I held out and um, went to that store today and bought this for $20 uh, out the door. So, uh, very happy to have this. Uh, this has a few first appearances in it. Um, I looked it up. First appearance of the Omega Titans. First appearance of uh, some other, bun like a, a bunch of like teams and stuff like that. And first appearance of, oh, shit. For, I think a uh, character called Red Cloud. So, I'm like, okay, all right, okay, all right. Picked it up. So, this is the George Jimenez variant. This is a really cool cover. This might be, in my opinion, probably the best cover. Because uh, there's like a one in 250, one in, you know, one in uh, 100 and all that kind of stuff. And, and the book is only 25 cents, so... It was nothing for stores to really order this and to order like multiples and multiples and multiples. So uh, to reach 500 really isn't anything. But yeah, still, it's, uh, it's still, still a cool cover, still has a bunch of first appearances, still, uh, you know, it's like a one in 500, even though the book is, even though the book goes for, tw even though um, the cover price is 25 cents. Okay, we've uh, spoken enough about. DC Nation number zero. Now repeat after me. DC Nation number zero, one in 500 variant. Repeat after me. I am somebody. Okay, very good. All right, so we're moving on from uh, DC Nation number zero, uh, one in 500 variant to this book here. We're moving on to this book here. Now I noticed this book was kind of getting hot last weekend uh, I actually didn't find any copies and then uh sun then last Sunday uh, I went to a store and saw a copy for six and uh, uh, the the prices at that time really didn't warrant me paying six dollars for a copy and then uh, I went to the store today and came across uh one for uh, basically 25 cents over cover price so what is this avengers volume whatever number 12 so we have iron man holding the infinity gauntlet okay all right it's all good it's all good and uh it's a really it's a good cover it's a nice uh it's colorful uh sort of iconic looking image you know it's got a lot going for it uh now checking ebay sales this is like a brisk you know 20 25 to 20 dollar book at the moment is it going to stay that way probably probably not probably not but it's okay because i only paid what 25 cents over cover price for this it's a cool cover i like this cover a lot so yeah so avengers volume whatever number 12 and we have iron man Holding the Infinity Gauntlet. Okay. All right. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Okay. So we have some more. We have more Avengers action. 
so this is Avengers Volume 1. I can safely say Volume 1, uh, number 257. Uh, bought this for $3. This was $3. I'm surprised. I don't know what it was. I hadn't been checking prices on Avengers 2. So this is the first appearance in Nebula. Avengers 257. I just hadn't been checking prices. And then, uh, that was like a month ago, I had seen a copy uh, at a store for like $20. And it was marked as First Appearance of Nebula. And I'm like, really? This book? For the longest time, this was like a like a dollar book. And I remember, you know, around the time of the first Guardians of the Galaxy, this was like a... I mean, I remember finding so many copies for in the dollar bins. So, you know, it was really surprising to see... Uh, this book go even on eBay. This book goes for like you know twenty for like a near mint copy. So uh, came across this for three. It's probably in very fine condition. So yeah, got that for three. I figured you know what that's a good price. That's a good price. <laughs> All right, next up uh, at the same store, uh, a very hard not necessarily an expensive book, but just really 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 tough to find. Uh, Punisher Max. Uh, number 31, first appearance of Barracuda. Uh, what did I want to say about this? Uh, I paid, f no, I paid $4. Pa so I basically paid a dollar over cover price. This is a book I actually have been finding, you know, in like the dollar bins. Um, like if somebody, uh, puts out, if I get first crack at the dollar bins, nine times out of 10, that this book is in there. So Yeah. Uh, Punisher number Punisher Max number 31 first appearance of Barracuda okay now okay this is the weirdest cover price find in a very very long time um, actually not since uh, finding that Immortal Hulk number 12 in uh, the cover for cover price uh, this is another weird one this is another weird one so I'm um, looking through I'm at this one store and uh, I swear, okay, I'm at the store, and I'm looking through the Thanos, it, up on, you know how some stores are set up, uh, where you, where on the rack for new comics, uh, the most recent comic is there, and then, um, you know, towards the back are the uh, latter issues, or, or the earlier issues, and I saw Thanos uh, up on the rack, and I'm just thinking, you know what, maybe I'll find something, maybe I won't. So I'm looking, I'm looking, and I come across this. I come across this. So we have uh, a copy of Thanos number 13, uh, which I found for cover price. I found this stupid book for cover price. Can you believe that? Like, I saw it, and, and here's the thing, here's the thing. I was at this store, I was at this exact store last week, and I was looking through the Thanos, I swear this book was not there. I, I promise you this book wasn't there, uh, I, like, or maybe my brain was playing tricks on me, something, I don't know, but I can swear this book was not uh, there last week, so maybe they got, I, I maybe somebody didn't pick up their pull, and they just kind of, I don't know, put it in the back on the rack. I don't know, but I promise you this book wasn't there last week. But um, I come across a copy of Thanos 13 for cover price. Now, is this book near mint? Uh, not, I would say near mint adjacent, probably. I would say if this, is the, if this were graded, it would probably grade at like a 9 or maybe even a 9.2. So it's not, you know, it's not like a 9.8. But still, I found this thing for cover price. Holy shit. And on top of that, I found number 14 in that same little stack. And I noticed that number 14 is going for a respectable amount. So uh, like a near mint copy is going for around 20. So... Yeah, that's this was this was weird. This was weird. This, it kind of freaked me out because I'm like, am I seeing things? And then it made me question what I saw last week. You know, so it was there. I can't complain too much. I was really happy. I was kind of like, 
it was it was kind of like a like it's like this weird I don't want to say shaking but it's like my ner- it, it kind of unnerved me <laughs> to see these uh for cover price that was weird that was weird and on top of that I was looking through so I figured okay so what the fuck else am I gonna find so um I look in the Immortal Hulk and uh this was there uh Immortal Hulk number seven uh, and this is the um, the color error variant where uh, in some of the interior pages, uh, Captain America is um, Captain America's uh, uniform is red. So uh, yeah, this is the uh, error version. And I swear, and I looked through Immortal Hulk last week at this same store, and I swear this book was not there. I it's so oh my god, this is freaking me out. <laughs> Like it might uh, okay, but yeah. So I was at the store and uh, I find like these like pretty hot back issues, especially this one, especially number thirteen. So I find these really hot back issues for um, for uh, cover price. That is nuts. So that is nuts. So but so. I took it back to twenty seventeen on you, motherfucker. Yes, I did. Okay, uh, we're moving along. Actually, no. So we're at the same store. And, um, and, uh, I look at the bottom, I look at that. Now I'm not supposed, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be looking at the bottom or not, but the guy at the counter, he wasn't paying attention. So I'm kind of like, I'm doing a little bit of extra digging, doing some extra, extra digging. So, um, I come across, uh, Eternals number 11. I don't know. Maybe it's some first appearances and I don't know. So, uh, Eternals number 11 and number 12. So I find these two. For uh, how much are these? These were five dollars a piece. So five dollars a piece for uh, Eternals number eleven and number twelve. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that was my that was my Saturday. That was my Saturday. I really, really wanted to go to more stores, and I'm not sure why I didn't. Maybe I don't know. I just I felt the like this. It feels like this feels sparse, even though like these are some great finds, but it still feels sparse. Like I should have just driven to more places and gone uh, to more areas. But I just kind of decided to bring it back home. But I should have went I should have went to more places, especially since uh, tomorrow is Easter and pretty much every uh, comic book store is closed on Sun- like like Easter Sunday. So. I should have went to more places today. But anyway, um, ba, 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 ba. so this was Saturday. So we're going to go to last Saturday. We're going to go to last Saturday. Actually, these were uh, these next few books here are from the stores that I went to today, but just last Saturday. Okay, so uh, DC Comics Presents number 47. Uh, now this book here, they had, uh, one of my my local store, actually the place that I got the uh, DC Nation number zero, uh, they had gotten a collection of, um, they got in a collection of co- of copper and uh, early bronze, and actually my dealer friend he got first crack at those. Oh man, the issues he got out of there. Oh, it pisses me off. But anyway, but anyway. Uh, I just, I got the scraps, I got the scraps, but I did get this, DC Comics Presents number 47, and, uh, I, again, this is one of those books where, much like with Avengers 257, I just hadn't priced in a while, and I really didn't know what this book was really going for, I really didn't know what this book was going for, yeah, that sounded right, that sounded right, um, <laughs> So uh, he quoted me a price of, and it's it's in very fine condition. He quote the store owner quoted me a price of fifteen dollars. I balked at that price at first, and uh, but I, I figured you know what, it's in decent condition. I'll buy it, and then uh, when I get it home and actually see what it's going for, I'm like, oh wow, wow. So in like high grade copies of this. Raw, raw high grade copies of this are like easy hundred dollar books. Um, I would say a VF copy like this is like, I want to say like fifty to seventy dollars. So, 
this was a really good buy a really good buy and i know i've had i've had like so many copies over the years i was only down to one uh at the time so i have a second copy now i have a second copy okay uh the next book from the same store so we have firestorm the nuclear man number three uh, got the first appearance of Killer Frost for five dollars. This I would say this book is in very fine. I would say this book is in very fine minus condition, or either outright very fine or yeah outright. How about outright very fine? How about that? So got this for five dollars. First appearance of Killer Frost. For some reason, I, this book feels like it should be worth a lot more than what it is, but I don't know. This feels severely undervalued. First appearance of Killer Frost. It's such a great cover. Love this cover, man. Love this cover, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Okay, uh, next up. Uh, now, this is the store where... Where is this from? This is the store that I picked up... Uh, that I picked up uh, that the uh, that Avengers number 12 and the Avengers 257. Uh, I picked this up last Saturday. Uh, Silencer number 15 uh first appearance of smoke all right okay it was still there on the rack it was still there it was still there so okay got that for cover price uh what is this what is this we have uh incredible hulks number 620 uh first appearance of something uh this is like a dollar i mean no this was like 25 cent over cover price uh since it was in the back issue bin uh, ooh, how much was this dumb thing? Uh, I mean, I mean, uh, what's the first appearance? First appearance of the ah shit something. First appearance of something. Uh, so Incredible Hulk's number six twenty. Uh, okay, now this is a store where I picked up the Thanos and the uh, Mortal Hulk. Uh, so and this was literally the only book that I found there that sa uh, last week on sat last last Saturday. So I don't know. That's it's still freaking me out. But anyway, uh, Shazam number twenty five. This was five dollars first appearance of Isis. Uh, I remember for a time this book was re relatively expensive and relatively hard to find. So uh, I think this thing needs a press. This thing is really warped. It's like a lot of like moisture effects. You know, it's not necessarily damage, but uh, it definitely needs a press. So found that for five dollars. Uh, let's see. What did I pick up in the mail? What did I get? What did your boy get in the mail? In the maily mail? I got Batman Arkham Knight number, uh, number one, the gold, this is the GameStop gold variant. Uh, I paid $30 for this. Uh, is it a great, is it a good price? I, I guess, relatively speaking, yeah. Um, it's still sealed, thank God. It's still sealed. And, uh, I, like, previous sales for this were, like, in the 200s. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's definitely, the, the value on it is definitely scaled down. Uh, I would say to maybe $75, but I don't know. 30 seemed reasonable especially for like a near mint copy that's still sealed up that seemed reasonable and it's like the the gold variant i know there's um i actually have two copies um where that's uh black so uh yeah i don't know there's not too much to say about this. oh first appearance of arkham knight and since arkham knight is now in the uh dc continuity I figured, you know what? Let's uh, let's pick this up. Let's get this. Let's... So thirty dollars seemed reasonable. Uh, here's another book I got in the mail. Uh, what if Peter Parker became the Punisher? Now this is the. Uh, I'm not sure what the ratio is. Uh, when I looked this up on eBay, the ratio was like one in fifty or something like that. But uh, from what I understand, this is like limited to around 600 copies. Uh, so this is the Joe Jesco variant. I, I don't know what it was. I absolutely loved this cover. I'm not quite sure why, but I really, really dug this cover. 
So uh, I mail ordered this, uh, got it for, now it typically goes for $60. Uh, I paid uh, 40. Um, I just like the cover, you know, so you can say I overpaid. I really don't care. Um, I just really dug the cover. So I figured, and you know, it's, it's a, I don't know. It's like a cool mashup of Spider-Man and the Punisher. So I figured, eh, why not for 40 bucks? Why not? It typically goes for 60 on eBay. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay. All right. It's all good. It's all good. Okay, uh, another book that I got in the mail. Uh, what is this? What's this? Uh, Teen Titans number 20. Teen Titans number 20. Uh, this is, I believe this is a 1 in 40 variant um, featuring Crush on the cover, the Crush design cover. I actually paid, uh, over the summer, I paid $40 for a copy and I don't know, I just felt so embarrassed to have paid that. I never showed it. And then um, a copy uh, came up on eBay for like uh, six bucks, six dollars plus shipping. So it probably came to less than ten dollars. And uh, so I definitely jumped on it. So I'll show I'll show, I didn't show off the forty dollar copy, but I'll definitely show off the five to the, the five dollar copy, ten dollars, including shipping. So. <laughs> uh, so this is my second copy which I paid considerably less for I can't believe it ugh ugh, ugh. I should have just held out should have just waited ugh ugh but anyway uh, uh, what did I want to say what did I want to say about this one now here's a book that I bought a while ago but I just could, actually I bought it and I couldn't find it so I was never able to show it uh, I paid a dollar for this a few months ago. So this is Avengers uh, 682. Now this is the secret variant. This is the secret variant. Uh, Marvel has been uh, doing this uh, much like with uh, uh, Venom number seven, that tongue variant. I don't know. They picked the dumbest shit to... I don't know. Okay, but anyway. Uh, so where Hawkeye would have a mask, uh, the secret variant has him... Uh, without the mask and just his cool glasses. So, yeah. And this is, what, the first uh, cameo of uh, Immortal Hulk. So, yeah. found that I picked that up for a dollar a few months ago. Uh, so, this was uh, over the week. Uh, bought a copy of Naomi number four, first print. Man, that series is insane. Holy cow. Wow. 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 Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, what did I want to say about Naomi number four? Not much. Okay. Over the, over the last weekend, last weekend, one of my local stores, they posted uh, pictures of a Silver Age collection they got. I'm talking these keys were just out of sight. It just like these were just the most uh, mouth watering <laughs> Uh, key issues that you can imagine uh, from the Silver Age, uh, stuff that I had never even seen in person. So uh, I definitely, I made a play for them. Uh, I contacted them, um, but they said that they have a dealer. Uh, they have like a longstanding agreement with a, with a dealer where he gets first crack at the comics. And... Um, it turns out that he he bought like 20 books. He wound up buying 20 books. And um, oh my god, and the ones that and I and I was really interested in like five books and he wound up getting those five. <laughs> oh man, that was really heartbreaking. Um but I guess as a constellation, I, now that dealer got first crack, but I I guess I wound up getting second crack at him. So I'll say these next four books here, uh, I bought for three hundred dollars total. So I averaged, so I averaged uh, seventy five dollars a book. But yeah, oh my god, that really sucked. Uh, but I can't be too upset because a couple of those keys that I inquired about were like three grand a piece. You know, and I definitely didn't have the money for that. So 
I can't be too upset. Um, okay, anyway, uh, these next four books uh, were $300 total. Uh, Black Hawk, number 133. Um, now, the first copy of Black Hawk that I ever bought... Uh, let's see, can we get close? Yeah, yes we can. The first, first copy I bought uh, looked great. It looked amazing, but the cover was detached at the top staple so and that always bothered me uh the second copy that i bought had uh it was fully attached but the cover i don't know the outer edges it it was just kind of like a it was like a good minus copy you know it just didn't look that great uh i would say this is a nice healthy mix of both um the edges you know you can see the edges are pretty sharp um, the, I would say the main issue with this is just like this really ugly reader crease, but the staples are attached, you know, no detachments whatsoever. So, um, I don't know, this is a book that, and I'm noticing, I would say this book is in probably, uh, God, I would say this book is in 5.0 condition. Uh, I, I can, I'll definitely try to press this out, uh, to see if I can improve it to just make it look more supple, you know, because this ugly ass reader crease is just, bleh. there's nothing you can really do about that, but just try to make it look more supple on some level. But uh, yeah, I guess you could say I averaged uh, 70, I got this for 75 bucks. So first Lady Blackhawk, uh, what is this? We have Flash number 112, uh, the first elongated man. I would say this book, it has a severe like spine roll. Like, right around there. Um, I would say this book is in VG condition. Uh, I don't know. Hmm, nothing to really say about that. I guess we'll get close. Let's get close. Fuck it. Dig it. It's pretty... It's decent. It's a decent looking copy, but... You know, not necessarily high grade. I think there's foxing on the back. You can see how... Uh, you can see it's not, it's kind of, it's not that solid along the edge. So, yeah. But it's definitely, um, it's definitely an improvement on the uh, copy that I, that I had previously. Uh, here we go with, now this is actually a book that I've been looking for. Uh, Detective 267, first appearance of Batmite. Batmite. So we have uh, the first appearance of Batmite in Detective Comics 267. This book is probably, I would say this book is VG minus condition. Um, you can see that there's like a spine split there. Um, so we have uh, something going on right there. Actually, this needs a severe press. Like I had to kind of straighten all this out because like this was real crunchy real crunchy at the bottom corner you know like a heavy crease actually there's a spine split right there leading to that uh heavy crease so uh you know what i don't think i don't even think a press would really do any good because i you know there's nothing you can really do about this but uh it's the first appearance of batmite so yay happy about that uh, here's a book that I knew nothing about, <clears throat> but it is a first appearance. So we have Tomahawk number 81. Tomahawk number 81. This is the first appearance of Miss Liberty. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. There's, I don't know. There's, it's not that much on Miss Liberty, but it is a first appearance, so... Much like, I would say, um, much like uh, the first appearance of, say, um, uh, Mademoiselle Marie in uh, Star Spangled War Stories number 84. I think this is kind of like along those lines. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Tomahawk number 81 is a first appearance. Okay. All righty. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, next up, now here's a book that I've had for a while, but I never got to show. 
So I figure, what better? Actually, you know what? We're not gonna show this yet. We're not gonna show this yet. No, we're not. We're gonna wait. We're still gonna wait. <laughs> we're still gonna wait. Okay. Uh, next is a store that I went to uh, last Sunday. Last Sunday, went to this store. Uh, now, this is a store that I go to every, I would say, every other. I, I would go to, I go to the store every month. Uh, like, if there's some. Uh, like some a, a book that came out in the past 10 years that suddenly gets hot, uh, I would say about seven to eight times out of 10, the book will be there, uh, but you gotta really dig. So um, I came across uh, uh, Ultimate Comics, All New Spider-Man, number 26. Now this book got hot a couple of weeks ago, like two, three weeks ago, and uh, the stores that I went to to try to find it, uh, they just weren't there. The book just wasn't there. And I had a feeling it would be at this particular store. So, I, I, like, I made, you know, I made an attempt to find it, but, at, the, at those other stores, but I really wasn't sweating it that much. You know what I mean? So, we have the first... God, this, this cover sucks. I hate this cover so much. Wow. This cover is awful. Ugh, just the composition is just dumb. Like, it, they're trying to make this, like, some sort of iconic image, and it's not. They failed. Whoever whoever did this cover failed. Failed. This cover is stupid. But anyway, uh, what is this? The first Ultimate Taskmaster. And here's the first Ultimate Taskmaster cover. In all new Ultimates number 11. All new Ultimates number... 11 okay all right okay okay all right it's all good it's all good it's all good it's all good uh brrr. i don't know ultimate taskmaster looks dumb if they're gonna go with uh i don't know either go with the regular marvel version or even the female version in uh um deadpool max number five Okay, so we we're staying with the Ultimates. Also, Ultimate Comics, the Ultimates number twenty-five. Now, this is another book that wants to do something and wants to be somebody. Um, so, uh, it it has something to do with the Infinity Gauntlet, and so I, I guess you can say here we go. So we have. Uh, Ultimates 25 and 26, so I believe this is the first time the Hulk has the Infinity Gauntlet, so, uh, yeah, yeah, I, okay, now this book on eBay, like, off and on sells for, like, $10, and this one sells for, like, off and on 15 it's not a guaranteed sale, but, you know, sometimes if the seller is lucky. So I know I've noticed that, and this book kind it it wants to do something, it wants to be somebody, but yeah, uh, found those for a dollar. Oh, I forgot to say, uh, got this for got these two for a dollar, and uh, picked these two up for a dollar, and also for a dollar we have uh, Incredible Hulk's number six twenty. Found that for a dollar. Uh, oh, first appearance of the Green Door. Yes, I believe. I believe something something like that. And uh here we go with Dr. Fate number 1. Found this for a dollar as well. Found that for a dollar as well. Hell yes. Okay, so that's my haul. Wow, wow. It, honestly, it didn't even feel like this many books, but we've already reached damn near 35 minutes. Okay. So that's my haul. I'm sticking to it. I guess I'll show that book that I meant to show at a later date. So, yeah, um, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. All right, bye.